walking around, hanging out. Um, hey man, if you could get away from my uh, bird seed, I really like that bird seed. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk right over here. <laughs> yep, I'm back to my bird seed now. You could just leave me alone. Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm gonna be planting this Autumn Brilliance Service Berry or Amelanchier Grandiflora Autumn Brilliance. Uh, this is a uh, hybrid uh, service berry tree that it was pit selected for its beautiful fall color. The foliage is a little, a little larger than uh, other service berry uh, varieties or Amelanchier. Amelanchier is native to 49 of 50 states. Hawaii is the only one that doesn't have a native uh, service berry and then uh, all across Canada as well. So most everybody watching this video uh, can call, um, call service berry a native. Uh, in the uh, um, in, its, in its native form, there's lots of different species and they grow as some are little shrubs that grow like as thickets, uh, some spread under the ground, um, you know, with, with stolons and then you have tree formed ones and just all, all over the place uh, in the wild. Uh, they, they all bloom in the uh, spring with uh, white flowers. This um, Autumn Brilliance has like a pink bud. It looks like it's going to be a pink flower and then it opens white five petals it's in the rose family um uh, so so really nice flowering and then it gets a fruit uh in june ish uh depending on where you depending on where you are uh that's really wonderfully flavorful it's it's sweeter than a blueberry i, I find it tastier than a blueberry for sure uh unfortunately very short-lived uh on on the tree it's not it's not you got to fight the birds like crazy for them uh, blueberries are easier to guard and are, are longer fruiting. So you tend to, uh, even if you're fighting birds off, you're still getting some fruit uh, where these are, like I say, very short-lived. It's got a small seed in the middle that's totally edible, but fantastic if you've never, if you've never had a uh, tried service berry before. Autumn Brilliance will get 15 to 25 feet in height, something like that, maybe, maybe 15 feet uh, in width. I can keep it narrower if I want to. The spot I'm standing on had a uh, maple taken out uh, I don't know, eight or nine months ago now, it was diseased. And uh, uh, I've been waiting for this spot to kind of settle down. I did grind the stump out, but I'm sure there's still some wood here under my feet. I'm elevated about three feet from where the camera is sitting. I don't know if you'll actually be able to tell that in this video. And there's a retaining wall that's going down here at the bottom. I just put in this annual bed yesterday and another one down here. This bed is going to be changing quite a bit over the next few weeks. I've got shrubs taking the place of these annuals. Uh, so if you're uh, interested in uh, tuning in and following along with how this bed develops, uh, welcome and uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching. Um, I've got this tree from a wholesale nursery that's uh, not far from me, but they sell to other garden centers. It's a really nice tree. This is a seven gallon. I had the choice of buying some larger ones, but I just didn't find one that I was really drawn to. I'd rather start out with something that's really perfectly branched uh, like this one is. And then, I, you know, I, it's not something I have to recover from or fight. Uh, I, I tend to pick plants in smaller containers. I just do. A lot of times I'll see plants planted from smaller containers actually catch up and pass uh, larger, uh, larger trees anyway. So I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit closer and uh, just and dig this hole, find out what's under here because I may run into some roots. I have, I have no idea right this minute. I don't have to dig a very big hole though. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin I've waited seven or eight months for this stump to break down or this the wood that was left over from the stump to break down some and it hasn't broken down as much as i wanted it to so i uh took i just removed a little bit of it i just dumped some compost and uh, bark mix that i have right here i'll show you that right there that is uh um just it's just compost and bark that i bought to actually plant these annuals right here but i'm blending some of that uh, into this hole I don't think this tree's all that well rooted into the seven gallon pot, so I'm not gonna have to dig a very big hole regardless, but um, I think that's good right there. That'll help me with some, some drainage. I don't really have to worry about drainage too much up here. Uh, Amelanchier service berries are gonna be 
pretty tolerant of most uh, soil types, being that they're native to literally, <laughs> literally uh, almost everywhere um, in the U.S. And uh, so I don't have to worry about it too much. They would prefer well-drained soil, and obviously I'm going to have that up here on the top of this hill uh, for sure. So, okay, I'm going to pop him out of the container. I don't think this thing's very well rooted uh, in this container. I think it's fairly newly planted. So I'm going to be as careful as I can um, sliding it out of here. But uh, again, I think I'm going to have soil come off of these roots for sure. Okay, not as bad as I thought. Okay, so it has rooted out to the edge, as you can see right there. So but I don't need to break it up at all. It's not wrapping around in any way, shape, or form. They're actually just right out to the edge exactly like I would prefer. I'm going to need to potentially have a stake on him for a while. It's a fairly thin whip here with a lot of height on it. I think that's pretty straight right there. Okay. Here's that mix that I used with the compost and the bark and the Let me go get some more of that out of the back of the truck. I still have some more of it in the back of the truck, but it's basically just pine fines and compost uh, mixed mixed together. So that's what I'm gonna do, get rev one more shovel full of that. Okay, so here's, here's another shovel full of that material there. When I was just down at the street, I could see it's leaning a bit left, so correct that right now. I don't want anything up here on the top right there. Okay. I've got it packed down reasonably well. When you see me stomp around a plant like this, I think some people think I'm really stomping very hard, but I'm just lightly tamping it down. I don't want to, I don't want to compact, you know, push all the air out of the soil. Uh, I'm going to bring this mulch that I pulled back initially back up here around it, but I'm not going to cover anything up on top of this root ball very much at all okay so there really won't be a whole lot of maintenance to do uh, on this service berry tree uh, for me if i get any suckers coming up from the base where it's trying to uh, be a multi-trunk tree i'll keep any of that cleaned off of the bottom oh uh in the late winter early spring would be the time to prune it there'll probably be some pruning to do on it uh, every winter a small limb here or there i'll try to prevent any limbs from trying to grow back in uh, to themselves ones that could eventually cross kind of keep the center of the tree a little bit open and allow some air movement through uh, despite it being a rose family member it's not um, uh, it doesn't have as many of the disease problems that many things in the rose family have it tends to be clean uh, but I, this is the tree that i have selected for this spot i kind of went over i don't have a this is a very tiny urban lot i don't have a lot of space and so Went with the native. Uh, these are also, some people call them shad blows, and uh, there's all kinds of names uh, for this plant. Uh, interestingly, I think the name shad blow um, is in reference to shad running in the Northeast. They used to be, people used to give common names to plants so that when they saw them flower or fruit, uh, they would know something else was also going on uh, in the environment, um, you know, like the shad running or something like that, which is kind of kind of kind of interesting how those kind of common names can come about. But this is Amelanchia grandiflora um, or uh, Autumn Brilliance. Thank you very much for watching uh, this video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I have all kinds of interesting things, and uh, several, many more of them are native as well going into this space. Thanks for watching. I got my dove planting buddy uh, over here. He's just never leaves this space. Uh, doesn't seem to be troubled by uh, doesn't seem to be troubled by me at all. <laughs>